Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachah which is to say the only true name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew tongue. Also, I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waken up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Uh, and to the few sisters that watch, I say Shalom to you as well. Uh, this is your brother, uh, Karab, from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another spiritual spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit. And at best, I'll quote precepts. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to speak on this week, um, you know, a uh, testimony a brother out in uh, Houston did. And I didn't watch, I didn't watch the testimony, you know, but, uh, you know, brothers, uh, I was speaking to, uh, speaking with some other beloved brothers. You know, uh, and one of the brothers that was from that camp, an elder from that camp, and a few other brothers. And, um, you know, one brother was inquiring, you know, about the brother who did the testimony. And, uh, you know, I was made privy to what, 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 you know, the testimony was about, you know. And uh, basically the, uh, the brother was going into how, uh, you know, at camp, uh, Saturday, uh, previous Saturday, I mean Friday, um, yeah, the Houston camp, um, you know, they they got they have three camps, and at one of their camps, uh, you know, uh, uh, Edomite, you know, pulled up in the truck, and um, you know, got out the got out the uh, truck, and you know, was uh, standing, uh, you know parked across the street from where they were camping at and um you know in a truck you know looked like old good old boy Edomite and um he started playing something that sounded like that purge music and uh he got out and uh brother seemed say it kind of seemed like he was brandishing a weapon and uh he had a high power flashlight you know, he, you know, one of those flashlights that can, you know, damn that shine up to the heavens. And you can see, you know, it, it cascade off the clouds. And, uh, you know, he was shining it over at the brothers and, you know, making gestures, you know. And, um, you know, after camp, they, they say after they closed up camp, you know, the dude was still patrolling, like rolling, you know, riding past him, you know. And obviously, you know, just hearing that, you know, angers you. You know, but uh, what the uh, beloved elder in that camp, you know, say he told the uh, the brothers, you know, hey, uh, this is to be expected. You know, this is to be expected. And uh, the scriptures tell us that, you know, because, hey, hey, you know, virtu uh, basically we're public enemy number one. OK. Um, as the scriptures say, uh, uh, we've we've made ourselves a prey. You know, I mean, hey, if you turn. Uh, away from uh, wickedness, okay. Roughly paraphrase, I believe it's in Isaiah. Uh, uh, I think it's Isaiah forty-seven or forty. Don't quote me on it. You know, might be forty-eight or forty-nine. Don't quote me on it. But um, you can you can look it up. It's uh, you know where it says, you know, they that turn from wickedness make of themselves a prey. Okay, and obviously this world is extremely wicked. And uh, through the spirit of power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, we represent the good. Okay, so in a world where uh, righteousness is outnumbered, okay, then you you pretty much uh, you know are a minority. Okay, but uh, as the scriptures tell us, what hey, uh, there be more with us than there be with them. Okay, and ultimately. Uh, the, the more is Yahweh by Shemi Shai. You see? So, yeah, the, the beloved brother was telling them, look, man, hey, this is to be expected. You know, this is to be expected. And, uh, you know, what I took from that is, you know, now, hey, now it's time to prepare our minds, you know? And, and that prep, that mental preparation basically goes into, you know, the, the, the basis of that mental preparation is believing that the Heavenly Father has our backs, man. Okay? 
because the reality is like we all we always say it you know everybody's marching to the tone of prophecy and obviously ourselves as well okay meaning what there are things that that um you know that have been prophesied to happen okay that we're gonna have to endure you see and, and like like that situation you know now uh they said uh you know once they saw the guy you know you know basically somewhat kind of stalking him you know and trying to you know badger him you know they made the right preparations and got the hell out of dodge you know bent a couple corners and got out of there you know why because that's wisdom you know that ain't you know we scared it no nah, you, you know hey we got to use wisdom in every aspect man okay you see accounts where the uh, the apostles you know yahweh shy you know where certain situations uh had transpired or escalated and they got the hell out of dodge you know and that and, and that's you know uh Something also we have to meditate upon, not being carnal, okay? Uh, like we read it, uh, Sirach, the second chapter, you know, to set our hearts to right and constantly endure, you know, and that's the basis of it because everything begins with the mindset, you know, understanding prophecy, understand we're all marching to the temple of prophecy, and uh, the scriptures say we're going to be the offscarring of the earth. Uh, 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 it also says that... Uh, um, we're going to be scourged by the tongue, okay? But the Lord is going to hide us. You see, those are the things that we got to meditate. We got to meditate on, uh, you know, the promises, okay? Not so much, you know, the downside, because and that's coming. You know, obviously, it's, it's at the forefront of our mind, you know, that we've hazarded our lives, you know, uh, to, to walk this path that we walk. But, hey, the reality is, Judgment is coming for everybody, okay? Everybody, hey, the day, nobody can uh, avoid the day of judgment, okay? And there are going to be certain uh, tests and trials and tribulations, okay? They're going to be put on all of our plates, you know? And we're, and we're entering into those times, you see? So the mindset has to be, you know, hey, Yahweh Shai Shai Hawa Shai Nawa, Ma Ra. Okay, like we said in the Lord's Prayer, that's uh, the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, deliver us, you know, Hawa uh, Shainawa, deliver us, uh, Mara, you know, from evil. Okay, and that's that should be your uh, a constant prayer. Okay, because the times are gonna get evil. The Scripture said, you know, we a hey, we said week in and week out, you know, so it, it'll be asinine to not make mental preparations. To get ready for what's coming, okay? And the scriptures tell us what we haven't been given the spirit of fear, you know. Now it we're not tough guys, you know. Hey, we, we say it all the time. You know, we're not we're not tough guys, we don't have no might in our hand, okay? Uh we know where our strength and our power lies, you know. So it, it's it's pretty much as simple as uh you know, not to make light of it, you know, because it's it, you know, it might look light, but it's heavy though. Okay, and I'm not talking about, uh, you know, the, the shit that we got to go through, okay? Because the scriptures say what? Our Lord Yahweh Shah said it's a light affliction, okay? But meaning, you know, the things that we have to attend to, okay, which is reading, exhortation, meditation, the law, you know, um, you know, becoming a better servant for Yahweh Shemel Shah, a better brother. Okay, keeping the patience uh, of his word, okay? You know, like I said, I don't want to make light of it, but it's as simple as keeping the patience of the Heavenly Father's word, okay? And giving prayer and supplication, you know? And putting on, as, therefore, as the elect, okay? Which we don't have to, you know, go and do a, a, a archaeological dig, to, to, to find things and no 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 it's all written in the scriptures you know the, the, the blue hey, the ink is already dry we already have the blueprint you know we just have to stick to the scriptures because we're going to be tried okay as gold is tried in the furnace that's, that's what the scriptures say you know because hey everybody's pretty much on trial now everybody on this planet okay the hopefully elect 
the degenerates of our nation, okay, the, 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 the wicked, you know, that the Bible speaks of, all the heathen nations, everybody's on trial right now, okay? And ultimately, the judge is going to slam the gavel, being the judge being Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. He's going to slam the gavel, okay? And everybody's going to receive their judgment, you know? Hey, as, as far as the Israelites go, some going to receive uh, a salvation, uh, you know, a judgment unto salvation, and some going to receive judgment unto condemnation and death and anguish and pain, okay? And just like the scriptures say, that old Adam, now I ain't even calling it Adam because it's scripture, you know, uh, you reap what you sow, okay? You're going to get out what you put in, you know? And for those of us who've been laboring in this thing, hey, you know, through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shai, we've been putting in works and acts of righteousness and rehearsing them. You know, so according to the scriptures, the Lord's going to keep us. So we got to worry about an Edomite parked across the street, badgering the camp, you know, trying to mock and, 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 and do uh, uh, fear tactics. No, we haven't been given that spirit. OK, we haven't been given that spirit. We've been given a spirit of power, you know, understanding, righteousness, OK, assurance. OK, not in ourselves. Assurance in Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. Okay, because we like I always say, when you look at the times that are coming, ain't nothing you can carnally do. There's nothing you can carnally do. Okay, now uh, you know uh, the beloved brothers out there in LA tell you to uh, pray, fast, and work out. Okay, now those are, and I and I I'm, I'm not I'm, they're not. You can say working out is carnal, but it's actually hey, the scriptures say uh, exercise profit of little. Okay, which means it profits. So, you know, it, that necessarily isn't carnal, okay? Because, hey, uh, a good uh, a good state of health, you know, is, is mandatory, you know? <clears throat> well, I, I won't say mandatory, I'll say essential because, you know, certain brothers have infirmities that they, they just have to deal with, you know? But keeping up with your body is essential in this thing, man, okay? Because if, you, if you, you, you're not taking care of yourself, and you putting yourself in a position where you're getting sick, you know, then you can't ultimately do your father's bidding the way that you should want to, you know, and we all, you know, are our worst critics, you know. So you got to take care of yourself, you know. But those are things that we can help to, to, hey, to help keep the patience of his word. But ultimately, when this shit kicks off, ain't nothing physically that you're going to be able to do, Okay. We got hey, everybody's gonna understand what it means by to walk by faith and not by sight, okay? Because now we still have sight, okay? You know where the, the you know the expressway is. You know how to get to your job. You know where the food restaurants are, okay? You know where the grocery store is. When these when shit hits the fan, we're not gonna know. You know we're gonna have to depend on our faith and how about Shemar and Shah? Hey, and brothers get hey, get prepared to see uh, uh you know miracles. Get, get prepared to see wonders in the heavens, chariots. I just saw, uh, uh, you know, today, where uh, beloved brothers out there in the uh, Dallas camp, uh, simultaneously, two different brothers saw uh, saw chariot sightings, you know? And at the same time, they saw the same chariot at the same time, okay? And one of the brothers said that the chariot looked like it shot, it, it shot a blast out of it, you know? And then also... It, it, it showed uh, uh, one of the brothers. He he was focused on uh, one particular chariot, and uh, yeah, he was focused on one particular chariot, and he really wasn't paying attention. And when he rolled his window down, it was a fleet of chariots that accompanied it, accompanied it, and he didn't see it. But the brothers that saw his video said, "Hey, look, man, there was a fleet of chariots coming. I mean, you know, around that other chariot." You know, so yeah, hey, get ready, brothers. And this is, look, we have to expect these things. Hope, right? We got to expect these things. Why? Because these are the things that are going to preserve us in the time that are coming. The scriptures say the angels of the Lord encamp over around about them that fear them. Okay? So these are the things we got to meditate. We got to meditate on what the Lord said he was going to do for us, man. Okay? Why? Because ultimately that's going to build up your faith and give you that courage that we need to endure the times that are coming, man. Okay? So yeah, man. Uh, I just wanted to share that, you know, as a as a as a token of uh, exhortation and and faith boosting, you know, and understanding. Look, hey, it's, it's it's about that time, okay? And and we know our adversary, okay. 
and Esau Edom, okay, being manned by Satan himself, the spiritual demon Satan. We know our enemy, okay? He, he's all about smearing, okay? The smear campaign, as P. Diddy, as Bill Cosby, you know? And which these niggas deserve to get smeared, okay? Absolute scumbags, both of those idiots. And ultimately, it was Yahweh Bashim Yahweh smearing them, you know? Thinking they're high on the hog, you know? Believing in themselves, you know? Well, we know how this devil gets down, and he's gonna paint the picture that we're the worst thing that ever happened, okay? And in a wicked society, Okay, when you're you're thirsting after wickedness opposed to righteousness, yeah, we are. We are the worst thing to happen in this society. Why? Because we represent righteousness. Yahweh Shah. Righteousness is always gonna trump wickedness. Okay, and that has to be the focal point. Okay. So yeah, I believe the point of Lord willingness is edifying. With that I say, Kwam Yasharala, Shalom.